Hi, good morning. Welcome back. Uh, in this lesson, we will complete uh, lesson two, module three, uh, part two. This part, in this part, we will study how to solve or how to use points of intersection to solve a quadratic equation graphically. Look at the first exercise we have. Uh, in this exercise, we have a function 3x minus 5 power 2 minus 12 equal 0. I have two ways to solve, to graph, uh, uh, to graph this function. Look at the direction. Solve each equation by finding points of intersection of two related functions. So we asked you here to solve uh, this type of question by uh, making two functions. First function I will name it as f of x equal 3x minus 5 power 2. This is the first function. We will move this 12 to other side. So the function will be 3x minus 5 power 2 equal 12. This is the first function, and this is the second function. I name the first function as f of x, and the second function I will name it as g of x. g of x equal 12. So now we have two types of functions. Two types of functions. The first function is quadratic one, and the second function is, is a constant function. This will be represented by a line parallel to x axis from 0 and 12, okay? So first, I will grab the first function. The first function, I will make a table, okay? This is x, and this is the rule 3 multiply x minus 5 power 2. I will put the vertex in the middle. The vertex of this function, f of x, it will be 5 and 0, so 5 and uh, 0. Okay, so this is the y of f of x. Okay, so 5, 0. So this is the vertex. I will choose 2 less than 0, 2 less than 5, and more uh, than 5. More it is than 5, like 4, like 3. Okay, here. Six, seven. Okay, now uh, for three, I will replace x with three. So three multiply three minus five or two. Three minus five is negative two. Negative two or two is four. Four multiply three twelve. Four. Three multiply four minus 5 power 2. 4 minus 5 negative 1 power 2 is 1. 1 multiplied 3, 3. And this will repeat 3 and the 12. If you want to check, look 7, uh, x equals 7, 7 minus 5, uh, uh, 2 power 2, 4 multiplied 3 to be 12 volts. So this table, we will going to uh, plot this point on the grid. Firstly, we have 5 and 0. Where is 5 and 0? This is a 4, so this is 5 and 0. This is the vertex, okay? After that, we have 4, 3, 4 up to 3. This is 4, 3 approximately here. 3, 12. 3 here, up to 12. 8, uh, this is 4, 8, 12, so 3, 12. Uh, after that, we have 6, 3, 6, 3, and we have 7, 12, 7, this is 6, sorry, 6, 3, and we have 7, 12, 12, three. okay, so this is our parabola. We grab this parabola by using this smooth graph like this. Okay, so this is the first function is done. 
The second function, this function is a constant function represented by a line parallel to x because there is no uh, if, uh, there is no x term or x squared term, so it will be represented by a line. A constant of y because if you put x any x any value for x, you will get twelve. If you put zero, one, two, uh, four, uh, any value for x, the result is still twelve. A constant. The result is still twelve. So we will uh, from zero to twelve. This is twelve. Uh, if x equal uh, two, it will be twelve. If x equal three, it will be twelve. If four, if, if x equal four, it will be twelve also, and so on. So it will be represented by a line parallel to x axis from zero and twelve. This line and this parabola will intersect at two points. These two points. These two points, the first point and second point, are the solution are zeros. Okay, to the first point, it will be three and twelve, and the second point, it will be it will be seven and twelve. So the solutions, the solution will be three and zero. And zero, three and twelve, three and seven, sorry, three and seven are solution. Three and seven are solution or are zeros. Okay. Okay, now your turn. I said before we have two ways to solve this type of question. The, the, the aim is to get the, the solution of this equation. What are the, the, the x values that makes the equation true? The function equal to zero. We, we used it this way. I divide this equation into two functions. I moved this constant to the other side. So now we have two parts left part and right part. The left hand side, I consider it as a function and I named it as f of x. The other part, I named it as g of x equal 12. I graphed the first part f of x by using the table, this parabola, this one, and I graphed a constant function 12. A constant function means if x is change, y will not change or the function will not change it's still constant 12 12 12 okay whatever uh, x was so it will be represented by a line parallel to x from 0 and 12 this point is 0 and 12. the intersection point between the line and a parabola are solution so the intersection points between them are zeros here 3 and 7 are zeros or are solution Three makes if x equal three, the equation will be true. If, x, if seven equal three, so the equation will be true. And the three and seven especially are zeros, makes the equation equal to zero. Now I will solve it by another way. Okay, look at this one. Your turn, number five. Solve this one. Okay, I will uh, I will make a table and I will graph this function as usual. Y equal three x minus two or two minus three. Okay, so what is the vertex? I will not split this equation into two functions. I will solve it by another way and fast way. Uh, this one we have a vertex two and negative three okay so i will make a table i will make a table and put two and the negative three in the middle here x here y and here we have a rule of the function it's minus two over two minus three okay choose uh, three values less than two 
like one, zero, and the negative one. And more than two, like three, four, five. Okay. And after that, we have to get the value of y. Okay, after substituting negative x for negative, uh, negative 1 for x, the result of y will be 24. Uh, if you replace x with 0, you will get 9. If you replace x with 1, you will get 0. So x equal 1 is the first 0. Because parabola is a symmetric 1, so this 0, 0, 9, 9, 24, 24. Now we will plot this point on the grid 2 and the negative. Three. This is the 2 and the negative 3. This is negative 1, negative 2, this is negative 3. So here, uh, 1 and 0, 1, 1 and 0. Okay. Uh, 0 and 9, 0 and 9. There is no space, so it's enough to do this. Okay. 3, 0 here. So your tabula will be like this. The most important part is to get the intersection or x intercepts. X intercept is here, it is 1 and 3. X intercepts 1 and 3, 1 and 3 also are 0. If x equal 1, the function will be 0. If x equal 3, the function will be 0. So 1 and 3 are solutions or are zeros. Okay. Now we will solve some exercises related to our lesson. Number one, 3x squared minus 9 equal negative 6. He asked you to graph this uh, equation. Solve each equation by graphing. So we will convert this equation into function and we will graph it. First step, we have to move negative 6 to the other side. So 3x squared minus 9 plus 6 equal to 0. So 3x squared. Uh, minus 9 plus 6 would be minus 3 equal to what? To 0. You can divide by 3. So x squared minus 1 equal 0 also. Divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3. Divide all terms by 3. So the function you have x squared minus 1. So the second step is to be the vertex. So your new function will be y equal x squared minus 1. We will get the vertex of this one and we will create a table then graph. First, a vertex. A is 1. B equal to what? 0 because there is no x term. There is no x term so B equal to 0. So to get, to get the vertex it will be easy. First coordinate equal x is x equal minus p over 2a. So 0 over 2 will be 0. So the first coordinate is 0. Now we will get now we will get the we'll make a table x and the root of the function x squared minus 1 and here y. Okay. We'll put the vertex in the middle, zero. So choose two less, two more, one, and the negative one. Okay. One. One minus one. One square minus one is still zero. Negative one also, negative one bar two minus one also zero. So we will grab this function here. I have here 0 and the negative 3. I forget to make it like this. 0 minus 1 will be minus 1. OK, so we have here, uh, we have here our function. We can grab this one. 
zero, negative one. Zero, negative one approximate here. And one, zero, this is one and zero. And this is negative one and zero. So the answer will be like this. The parabola will be like this. We need x intercepts. X intercept is or negative one and one are zeros. Okay. If you if you put x equal one, the function will be zero. Let's try it here. Three times one, three. Minus nine, it will be negative six. Okay. Let's try it here again. Replace x with one. One minus one will be zero. Negative one also makes the function equal zero. So the answer of the solutions will be negative one and one. We can solve this type of question by another way, but, but this is the simplest way and it is one. Okay, here, two x squared minus nine equal negative one. Firstly, we have to write a function related to this one. So two x squared minus nine plus one equal to zero. So the function two x squared minus eight equal to zero. Divide by two to make it in simplest form. So x squared minus four equal to zero. Now we will give the vertex. To give the vertex, we have to get x equal minus b over two a. In this case, directly, there is no x term, so the first coordinate of the vertex it will be zero. First coordinate of the vertex will be zero because b equal to zero. Zero over or divided by any number is still zero. So now we will make a table to graph this x, this x squared minus four, put zero in the middle, choose less than zero, I will choose negative two, and two. Okay, now we will get here negative two bar two minus four. It will be what? Zero. Zero. Zero minus four will be negative four. Two bar two minus uh, four will be zero. So if x equal negative two, the function will be zero. If x equal two, the function will be also zero. So now we have two types of function. We will write, we will graph zero and four, zero, negative four, approximately here, negative two, zero, negative two and zero, and two, zero. So the parabola will be like this. We need from this parabola the intersection points between the parabola and its axis. And the intersection point will be negative two and two. So negative two and two are solutions or zeros, as you like to name it. Okay, number six, by the same way, we have to write the function in this form, x squared. I will move x squared and negative x squared to the other side. So it will be positive x squared minus one equal to what? Equal to zero. So the function you will graph it will be y equal x squared minus one. There is no x term. So the first coordinate of the vertex is still zero. So we have to give the first coordinate of the vertex minus p over two a. It will be zero because because p equal to zero. Zero over any number will be will be what will be zero. We will make a table, small table for x. Here x squared minus one, and here y. Zero in the middle, negative one and one. It's enough. Negative one, negative one bar two is one. Minus one, it will be zero. Zero, minus one, negative one. One minus one will be zero. So if x equal negative one, the function will be zero. 
So this is the first zero we have. If x equal one, so the function also will be zero. So this is a second zero we have. If you graph it zero and negative one here, uh, negative one and zero, one and zero. And the parabola will be like this. Okay. So now we have two intersection points uh, between the parabola and x axis. So negative one and one are zeros of the function. Okay. Next part. Okay. This type of question he asks you to solve each equation by finding point of intersection of two related functions. So he asked you to divide this function or this equation into two functions. Okay, we said before we have two ways to solve this one. We have a first way to solve it by using uh, two related functions, like I will uh, make a two function x plus two equal four. I move the negative four to other side. So now we have first function. This function I will limit as fx. And this function I will name it as g of x. This is the first type we can solve it by two related functions like, like uh, what he asked for here. Okay? Or we can solve it directly. We can give the vertex and we create a table and we create a function and we give the intersection point between the parabola and the x axis. Okay, but we will solve this type by this way first. Okay, I will graph. I will graph a function or a table for fx. So this is the value of x, and this is the value of x plus 2 power 2, and this f of x. Okay. Now we have to get uh, some values related to this one. I will put 0 in the middle because the, the vertex of f of x it will be uh, 2, negative 2, and uh, 0. So we will put in the middle negative 2 or 0, because the vertex, the vertex will be what? Will be negative 2 and 0. Choose less than negative 2, it will be uh, negative, uh, more than negative 2, negative uh, 3, negative 4 negative one, more than negative two to be negative one, and zero. And let's check the value of these points. Four, negative four plus two, power two. Negative four plus two, it will be, it will be negative two, power two, it will be four. Negative three plus two, negative 3 plus 2, negative 1, power 2, it will be 1. So this point will repeat. Here also 1, and here will be 4. We will graph this uh, fx here. Negative 2, 0. Negative 2 and 0. After that, negative 3, 1. Negative 3, up to 1. Negative 4, 4, negative 4, and 4. Okay. After that, negative 1 and 1. 0 and 4. Okay. So the parabola will be like this. So we graphed the first part of the, the, the function f of x. Now we will graph g of x. G of x is constant one. G of x equal four. So it's a constant. If you if you if you put x any value, the function will not change, still four. So if you make any table for this one, if you put x equal one, two, three, the function is still four. Four, four. The function will not change. So it's named constant function. Okay? So we will, this, uh, this function will be represented by a line parallel to x axis from 0 and 4, 0 and 4 here. So it will be line parallel to x axis from this one. Okay, 
the intersection point between them, it will be negative four and four. The first intersection point and second intersection point, it will be zero and four. So the answer, it will be, what are the x values? Negative four and four. So negative four and zero. We want to focus on x axis, x coordinates, negative four and zero. These are, these two values are solution. Solutions, okay? So negative four and zero are solutions because the first coordinate will be negative four, second coordinate, the second coordinate will be constant, four, four. We want to get the first coordinate from each intersection point, negative four and zero. Okay. Uh, now we will solve number 12 by another way, by uh, graph the total function y equal x plus 2 or 2 minus 2. Okay, so we we'll grab this function by using a table. First, the vertex will be negative 2 and the negative 2. So we we'll create a table. This is x values. I will put the vertex in the middle, negative 2. And the value of y also it will be negative 2. Choose two less than two values less than negative two and more than negative two, two or more, two or more values. Okay, so here, here we have negative two, so negative uh, uh, one and zero, negative three, negative four. Okay, and write the rule of the function x plus 2 power 2 minus 2 and we will get the value of y we will replace x with 0 so 0 plus 2 power 2 minus 2 2 power 2 4 minus 2 it will be 4 minus 2 it will be 2 negative 1 negative 1 plus 2 it will be power 2 minus 2 so minus one plus two, it will be one, one or two, one minus two, negative one. Okay, negative two, it will be negative two. These values will repeat negative one, and here it will be negative one, and here it will be two. Here we have, okay, now we will graph, we will plot points on the grid. Okay, firstly, first point with a vertex, negative 2 and negative 2 here. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, and here negative 1. 0, 2, 0, up to 2. Okay, negative 3 and the negative 1, negative 4 and 2, so the parabola will be like this. Okay. Now we want to get x intercepts. I don't have here clear point for x intercepts. First x intercept exists between negative one and zero. The second x intercept exists between negative 3 and the negative 4. So we will give these values approximately. So this value approximately negative 0 0.5 approximately or 0 0.6. Here also 0 uh, negative 3 point uh, 4 approximately or three negative three point uh, five or so you have to get these points approximately okay number 21 
In each polynomial function in a standard form, identify A, B, and C. The first function, A, is a leading coefficient B, B equal 2, and C equal 4. The second function, there is no A, A equal to 0, so this function is not quadratic 1. B equal 2 and C equal 1. A equal 1 in this function, but there is no term of x, there is no constant, so B equal to 0 and C equal to 0. Y equal 5. Y equal 5 is a constant function. There is no term of x squared, there is no term of x, so A equal 0, B equal 0, and C equal 5 in this one. This is a quadratic one. A equal 3, B equal 8, and C equal 11. 22. Identify the axis of the symmetry, y-intercept, and vertex of the quadratic function y equal x squared plus x minus 6. And then graph the function on graphing calculator to confirm. To confirm. Okay, uh, we have to get the three parameters we have. A, B, C. A equal 1, B equal 1, and C equal negative 6. We have to get first the, the, the vertex. First, we have to get x of symmetry. x equal minus p over 2a, p equal 1, and a equal also 2 multiplied by 1, 2. So the first coordinate of vertex is negative 1 over 2. If you want to get y-intercept, you have to put x equal to 0. So replace x to 0 to get y-intercept. If you ask it for y-intercept, you, you have to put x equal 0. 0 bar 2 plus 0 minus 6. So the y-intercept will be negative 6. Vertex, the first coordinate is negative half. You have to replace x with negative half inside the equation, and you will get the second coordinate by using calculator. You will get it negative six point twenty five because he asked you how to get the negative six point uh, twenty five or negative six and four uh, by using this one. You will replace x with negative half, negative half or two minus half minus six. You will get negative six point twenty using the calculator. Thanks.